In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a tree infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I've just added a background image. And then when I click, the first headline comes, then the option A, option B, option C, and option D. So let's see how to do this creative slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, then go to insert shapes and select this one, which is the top corners rounded rectangle. Draw this much size and shape fill. I'm just going to give a brown color and shape outline, make it no outline. Now I want to expand the, the base here for that. Right mouse click, edit points and let me just zoom in a little bit. And you can see here the points. Actually, there are four points. It is not visible. So let me just drag this point here. You can see here. And let me just drag this point here. And sometimes the other point selected. Let me just select this and delete this. I don't need. And then I can just expand this point. And then let me just zoom out. And then here I'm going to drag this inwards. You can see here. This also I'm just going to drag it here. And this point I can select right mouse click and delete it. So you can see here we have end up getting this shape. If you want you can again adjust it. Again right mouse click and you can adjust it from both the sides. Now once this is done. So this is uh, just a minute. I have made it more curved. So let me just move it out. Yeah so this looks okay. And then I want to make the leaves or something like that. For that, go to insert shapes. Select this one, the second one, rounded corners. And making this much size and shape outline. Make it no outline. And then I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate. And I'm going to give some different color. Maybe some lighter color and reduce the size and i'm going to cut this much part you can see here let me just make it more curve and this also i'm making it outside so you can see here whatever which is visible now the blue color that only will be uh, there and the gray one will be cut out so let me just increase the size a little bit more okay and select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'll keep aside for the future use and then select the blue one, hold the shift key, select the gray one, then format tab, merge shape, just say subtract. So you end up getting this shape. So you can see here all the corners are curved except this one. For this, I can select this one and I'm just going to place it here. You can see here. Or let me just go to format shape and increase the transparency level so that you can see what exactly I'm talking about and then I'm just going to increase the size and let me just move this out so you can see here I have added this shape on top of this one with the curved one and let me just uh, make it more less curved here you can see and then I'm just going to select this shape and then this again go to format merge shape and just say union so you can see here now it, this also this corner also it's curved now now you can increase or decrease size according to your requirement and you can just place it here you can see here i'm just going to place this here and i'm going to change the color to this let me bring this down somewhat and press ctrl d to duplicate hold the shift key and reduce the size i'm just going to add one here you can see here and this color i'm just going to change to some other color and press ctrl d i'm going to add one more here you can see and this color you can just choose some other color press ctrl d again and this i will reduce the size a little bit and i can rotate it to flip horizontal and i'm just going to place it here you can see here or let me just move this one and it will look something like this here so this is a b c and d and just for the design purpose you can again control d reduce the size and you can just place here and there some other colors you can choose for example let me just select some gray color press control d 
I can add some more here and again change the rotation I can add one more here so like that you can how many you want you can just add it here and then I'm going to add the branches for that go to insert shapes select the triangle draw a triangle this much size shape outline make it no outline and give the same color of the tree and then just rotate it and put it here you can see press ctrl D and rotate the other side and just put it one here so you can see here our basic design is ready now you can add the text first of all go to insert text box and just I'm going to type a maybe you can type B or sorry one or two also let me just make it white shadow bold I'll change the font to open sans and increase the size and let me just add some more you can see here I'm just going to put a here and then go to insert text box here you can add the title again this also I'm just going to make it white font and open sans make it bold and just put the title here and below you can add the detailed text I'll just add here add your detail text or any image also you can add it so again same font reduce the size so you can see here this title has been added so press ctrl D to duplicate sorry and I'm just going to bring it here reduce the size and I'm going to say this as B press ctrl D bring it here this is C and the last one is D let me just bring it here and reduce the size and let me just make it D and then you can just add your title here add the title control D again add the title here control D the title for C and this title all right and as usual you can just again copy this control D again you can reduce the size bring it here control D this will go here and this will go here and this color I'm just going to change this one to some other color maybe this color so you can see here almost our design is ready and if you want you can just add the main title here so let me just add the headline I'll just say headline and I'm just going to change the direction which is this increase the size center aligned white and increase the size and change the font if you want so you can see here our design is ready and you can use it in your normal day-to-day -day presentations now you can see here the design is ready if you want to add any background image you can add the background image and if you want to do a small uh, animation first of all group this press ctrl G you can see here I'm just grouping these objects select and group it I'm just selecting you can see here I'm highlighting this one and ctrl G to group it and then the last I'm selecting this ctrl G to group it now I can just simply select go to animations enable the animation pane let me just close the format shape and whichever animation for example wipe can see here wipe and then B should come this is also wipe but I will make this from left side you can see this one again wipe and this will be from right and this also wipe and you can see here you can make this also from right now if I play you can see here one two three and four so likewise you can do the simple animations to it That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. 
see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye